Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tiny Tastic Talks. Today, I thought we would talk about self-care and how I do that in my own life and what it means actually because in researching this topic, I learned a lot actually and I will share that with you. So let's get this thing started. If you want like a clearer definition of what self-care is, I have it for you. It's self-care is what people do for themselves to establish and maintain health to prevent and deal with illness. It is a broad concept encompassing hygiene, nutrition, lifestyle, environmental factors, socioeconomic factors, cultural beliefs, self-medication. This could this is a lifelong habit and it's a culture that you form. It's the action that individuals take for themselves and their families to stay strong, healthy, take care of minor and long-term conditions and collaborate with health and social care professionals when necessary. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Like this is all like <laughs> brand new to me. There are so many factors to self-care that I don't think we focus enough on. I think a lot of us, when we think of self-care, we go to Instagram and we we think of or we see photos of like uh, candles in a bath, which is a part of self-care, but it's not all that self-care encompasses. Self-care looks at what are you eating are you drinking water enough like i bought this nice water bottle do you have enough vitamins in your daily everyday consumption right okay this is like vitamin c from like a good brand blah 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 anyways but like do you are you do you have this like in your everyday diet another thing is spiritual care so are you a part of a community do you pray do you need to be out in nature do you meditate? Do you journal about things? Um, another aspect is physical activity. So like, are you running, walking, doing whatever you can in terms of your ability to do? Or what are some things you could maybe experiment with in terms of physical activity? Mental self-care. So making sure that if we look at our lives in like the big picture sense, we have to take care of this issue, which means like read a book, right? That would challenge you, which I'm reading this one right now by Brene Brown. Very good book. Um, I would recommend it like do a puzzle, like try to solve a Rubik's cube. Like I can't solve one, but maybe you can. Then the idea of like sensory self care comes in, which is like, okay, what is that? Well, that's what we usually hear about in terms of where our five senses are engaged. So a candle being lit that's relaxing. Taking a bath, that's soothing. Listening to like soothing music, that engages our like auditory system. Eating chocolate, which is awesome, or Doritos, or something that you enjoy. Going to your favorite restaurant and having your favorite meal there. Emotional self-care, another one that I don't think we always think of. Are we checking in with ourselves throughout the day, asking ourselves like, okay, what am I feeling right now? Um, if you're feeling uncomfortable, check in with that feeling. What is that about? So like giving yourself permission to laugh, to cry, to do whatever it is you feel you need to do in that moment. That's safe for you and other people around you, obviously. Giving yourself compassion where you need it, just really honing in on that and focusing in on that throughout the day. One thing to help address your emotional state is this acronym called HALT. I teach this. This is where you ask yourself before you react to any type of situation, you ask yourself if you're hungry, if you're angry, if you're lonely, or if you're tired. If you're either of those things, then you honor that and you determine to take care of that first before you react to a situation, before you make a decision, before you whatever, X, Y, Z. It, it sounds simple, but sometimes when those just basic needs are not being met at that current time, our reasoning for reacting in certain ways kind of leaves us a little bit. It can. And so I think by addressing these very simple things is where you can take more control of your emotional well-being, your reactions, and then kind of all of these other things in terms of self-care about nutrition, physical activity, spirituality, soothing techniques like painting, like lighting a candle, like these things like I paint. So this is one of my paintings. It's called In Orbit. It was really fun to do. Painted it with a pellet knife. I also do things like acrylic pores, which I have to put a varnish on this one, but 
This is another one that I've done. And so this is something for me that when I do this, I focus only on the painting. I don't focus on anything else in my life. Everything else goes out the window and I am left to be able to just relax, calm down, enjoy myself, just be really in tune with myself. That all kind of comes together with painting. I make sure I read, make sure I journal, I pray. I am not on the physical activity bandwagon yet, but I bought these new running shoes on purpose and they're the Nike Pegasus ones, which are awesome. So for those of you who have issues with like your knees, 100% these ones, because they have this extra little lip here for walking. And I find when you walk upstairs, which is uh, sometimes an issue, that you don't feel the impact. So it's awesome. So I feel more empowered to actually do exercise now that I have these type of shoes because I feel like, okay, I'm not gonna like injure myself within like five minutes of doing an activity and then not be able to exercise for like a week or two or three. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I wanted to make this kind of short and sweet. Uh, and I hope that you are able to focus in on the many areas of self-care that are out there. Just because maybe you don't paint, it doesn't mean that there are not areas of self-care that you can be focusing in on today and make and devise a plan for yourself to better just take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, all of that fun stuff. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video because I would appreciate it, really. I'll see you next week, bye.